阿巴嘎巴布内，阿巴嘎巴布内，你好，文莱的故乡。Salam alaikum。阿巴嘎巴布内，我叫萨拉。Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh。呃 ，My name is Abdul Zainidi or Abe， and I am a filmmaker from Brunei， and I'm currently working and shooting in Paris as a film director, actor, and writer。My most famous work, which was also my first film that I directed but not shot, is Bread Dream, which was featured in May in this year's Short Film Cannes Film Festival Short Film Corner. It is the first Brunei film, short film, to be presented into Cannes. So I have the honor to be the first Brunei to do this, and also be part of the. Entertainment industry with Chanda. I am also an actor, and I'm also a director, and I'm also a writer. So I try to be very polyvalent with everything. My passion above all is storytelling, and storytelling comes in all forms. It comes in music, it comes in theatre, and it comes in filmmaking. I think that I am above all a poetic filmmaker. I prefer imagery and mood and images that come in all forms and sizes. I I don't see myself working more on the commercial side just yet. I will eventually、um, go there, but for the moment, I appreciate art. I am very. Keen believer that art in Brunei should be exposed as much as possible, whether it's music, whether it's theater, or even filmmaking. I am a very big fan of horror films and science fiction and even manga, and I'm also a big fan equally of drama and comedy. I think that when you create a film, you should not necessarily try and create one genre, like comedy or drama or horror. I think that you should try and melange, as they say in French, try and mix it all together to form one weird batch of of、uh, genres. So I think that one of my specialities is to mix、um, all of this into one specific. Category, and I think that it's important to try and mix it all and try and be diverse. Red Dream is horror, drama, science fiction, and art in one package, and it is a surrealistic and abstract film which deals with the dreamer. And the Malay proverb "angan angan majenen" is about a hopeless dreamer. Who eventually falls to his own conclusion, and he realizes in the Malay proverb that he's never going to go anywhere. That is why I wrote Bread Dream as an answer to this Malay proverb, "Angan angan majenen," because a lot of our dreams can lead us to a dangerous and dark place. And if we dream too much, the message in Bread Dream is that it can lead us even to. A very dark place. You'll have to watch the movie to understand. But it is mainly about dreaming and disappointment, even, and reality, and society, and also responsibility. I don't really have one particular. Filmmaker in mind because I, I I think I draw so much inspiration from a lot of pop culture. I I love television shows. 
I, I, I was a big, big fan of Lost and um, The X-Files and all of the very classic TV shows. And I also love equally manga, Astro Boy and, and Miyazaki, um, uh, the voyage of Chichiro. And I also admire a lot of art, uh, art house films like David Lynch, um, Quentin Tarantino and David Cronenberg. Uh, I think that I, I, I'm more of, I'm more inspired by each one, but not through just one. They all contribute to my creative uh, capacity. So I don't, to answer that question, I don't really have one single filmmaker. But I would say that David Lynch is probably one of my biggest inspirations. It isn't difficult, but it isn't easy either. I, I think that the major market for us actors and, and directors is, I think, in television. Uh, radio television, Brunei, is the only medium, I think, that allows actors and directors to, to, to work in. But independently, there is no independent film market. Um, we have yet to produce a, a short film market. Hopefully with the upcoming uh, film festival in Brunei, which I am indeed very fond of and I'm involved in and contributing immensely because I'm very proud of what I do and I'm very proud to be a Brunei and showcasing my work to Europe, especially here in Paris. I've lived through a lot of failure and I think that it made me a strong person. It's, um, it's given me a lot of ingredients in my writing and I think that it's very important to nourish and to accept failure as an artist. Without failure you cannot move on. Without failure you cannot build yourself up to be a person who is talented. I came to Paris because I wanted to take a different direction from where I was previously, which was England. I studied in England uh, literature, psychology and um, theatre studies. I thought that it was very useful but at the same time it was very heavy. I came to Paris because I wanted to try something new and it so happened that I had family who were working in Paris. So I decided to join uh, my family here and I didn't know what to expect, I'll tell you that. I didn't speak an ounce of French and when I came here I was very uh, culturally lacking in everything. I didn't even know what cheese was, I'll tell you. Uh, so I came to Paris and I studied French, which wasn't easy at the Alliance Française in Paris, um, which has no relation to uh, acting school and then I at the same time I was also doing my my job uh, and as a receptionist in the hotel Maurice which is a hotel owned by Brunei and I met a director there who who thought that I could probably be uh, an interesting actor and he told me about the famous school Florent which is a very famous drama school in the 19th of uh, arrondissement of Paris, which is where we are right now, and um, it was there that I uh, discovered that I had talent in, in acting, and and I discovered who I was. And acting is basically a discovery of who you are. So that is why I came to Paris. In fact, it is just to discover who I was through art and culture and acting. And it was also during during the school where I decided to nurture my writing and directing skills. The market is non-existent yet, but I think that there will be a short film market, hopefully. Not only just for short films, but I think that we should also try and market theatre, uh, develop student creativity.
and try and also be more tapping into the talent we have as, as a directors or actors or writers. Uh, Chandas and the Ministry of Culture and hopefully through me will build an, an outlet to encourage, I think, all of the future filmmakers to do and, and contribute to the industry. Because I believe that there is a lot of potential and a lot of resources which should be used to discover the talent we have. Absolutely. I think that creativity lies in spontaneity. What I mean by that is, if you have an urge to draw or to paint or to sing or to write down something in lyrics or poetry or even a story, nothing, no force on earth should stop you to express yourself. And I believe that expression through art, through music, through cinema, through through theatre acting or television cinema acting should be promoted and encouraged. I am very proud to be a Bruneian exposing our country and culture abroad and I plan to to bring more of our country inshallah to the rest of the world by shooting a short film uh, this August when I come back and um, recruiting very very talented actors so I will open an audition in August and hopefully if those are interested they will come and work with me because I believe that our talent lies in our youth so terima kasih uh, assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh